Oh, I, I almost died. Hello, everyone. Are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey. Um, what am I doing today? Today's a fake Grand Order video because my brother pointed out to me that um, it looks like on the 9th is when they say raids will start. So that means pretty soon. Don't actually know when. Uh, so if you beat the main part of story one of the main story, it says part two coming on the 9th. That's a pretty good chance that means that that's when we're going to get uh, the part two banner. So that's what today's video is going to be. I'm going to be talking about what's exactly on the part two banner, the units on it, and uh, yeah, just talking about looking at them before I actually try and summon, summon them with my brother because uh, we've both been waiting for this. I mean, Nux specifically has been waiting a pretty long time. So that's what today's video is going to be. I hope you like it. It's a little bit different. Usually I don't actually do gotcha stuff on Saturdays, but I did my off video thing yesterday so I wanted to do this today. So all right, let's get into it. So this is summon campaign three. This is what these three units are what we should be expecting. BB Summer, Mysterious Hero and XX. If you're wondering who this is, spoilers I guess. If you somehow don't know, sorry about that. And Maeve Saber. And she's of course a foreigner. Uh, and of course the rate up at craft essences is every single one of them in one. Uh, if you wanted to know how to get specifically only the man versions of them, you would have to summon on um, the male banner, which is uh, this one right here. But yeah, these three. So let's talk about the main girl, BB Summer, the five of the, the group, the one that will get the most stage of it all. Uh, without getting into too many spoilers about everything, this is BB Summer. You should know it. Um... Her active skills are self-modification EX, increases on critical damage for three turns, increases on crit star absorption for three turns, and that crit damage is for 20% uh, and 400% absorption at level 1, and at level 10 it is 50% and 800% and with a cooldown of 5. Her second skill is the Artoportic Penguip Golden Pig Grail, charges own uh, NP gauge, Recovers on HP, increases on Buster performance for three turns, increases on NP damage for three turns, and she gets evade. So it's just for one attack, three turns. It's, uh, it's an insane skill. This enough would be enough to kind of make her insane. But anyway, her NP damage at uh, no, her NP charge at level one is thirty percent. Her heal is one thousand. Her Buster is ten percent, and NP damage is thirty percent. And then at level ten, it is NP gauge is fifty percent. 3,000 healing, 20% buster, and 50% MP damage with a school, di a school down. A cooldown of 9 at skill 1 through 5, 6 for 9 is 8, and then 10. Alright. And her third skill is the Faceless Moon EX. Locks the set and dealt command cards for 3 turns, same cards through the skill duration. Command cards do not reshuffle when the skill is activated. This effect is removed if a party member is defeated or command shuffle or order changes used. Green crit stars every turn for 3 turns. Star regen is at 5 at 1 and 10 at 10. Her cooldown is 8 at skill at starting out and by the end of it, it is 6. Um, let's go against the, for the Noble Phantasm. The Curse Cutting Crater or CCC deals damage to all enemies, reduces their MP gauge by 1. 300% damage at level 1 and then if you somehow get MP5 talking about you and my good friend Neb. Uh, <laughs> it's 500% damage. Hit count 3, it's a buster type. Um, chance to further reduce her MP gauge by 1, meaning that she already takes away 1, and then she has a chance of taking away a second one, I believe. Um, drain chance is at 10%, and if you somehow charge it all the way to 500%, it's 50%, but either way, solid Noble Phantasm for an AoE. And because she is... Um, Moon Cancer, she is effect- I forget her type alignment, to be honest. I think she's effective against, um, Avengers, is that- yes, is type effective against Avengers, and she takes bonus damage from rulers, and then everything else is basically type neutral, if I remember that correctly. Um, yeah, this is BB Summer. Oh, and her passive skills, I should also mention these. Territory Creation A, increases own arts performance by 10%, the one who shall sh swallow the earth, EX. Grants self-immunity to burn, so she can't be burned. Is the existence outside the domain B. Gains two crit stars every turn and increases zone debuff resistance by 8%. And Goddess Essence A. Increases zone damage by 250. Increases zone debuff resistance by 25%. And then if you want to ascend her, you know, it's basic. You just need 
the statues, so not really too hard. And then she has some costumes if you want white BB, but I don't want white BB, I want tan. And her skill reinforcements, again, simple stuff really, in the grand scheme of things, I would say. Um, so, let's talk about BB. First of all, her second skill, extremely good. No denying that. Um, that makes her pretty good for... Um, Especially at level 10. It has to be level 10, I think, for this one. I think the one problem with, I think, regular BB is that she doesn't deal a lot of damage. And I think I think the one negative I've ever seen about this BB Summer is that she also doesn't deal a whole lot of damage. Um, but that doesn't mean that she's bad. The reason that she probably doesn't deal that much is because she has a lot of this other stuff that... When is actually getting up and running, like with the crit damage, it's just kind of insane. So if she was any more powerful, she'd be kind of busted in a lot of ways. Um, and the reason for- she actually is already busted because of this skill right here. Faceless Moon, the ability to lock a set amount of command cards is insane for a lot of reasons. The main one, you know that one strat I was using for my summer videos where I had to use, where I used Summer Ushi, where I said, well, I have to get kind of lucky that following this point on, I get the right amount of cards. Um, with this ability, as long as BB doesn't die for three turns, you will always get that those cards. That includes um, boss fights where stuff like, like um, if you're fighting a female um, rider, for example, this is just an example, and you use BB and you use her with Jack, and you use Faceless Moony X so that Jack constantly got her quick cards, which he had two exactly, and she could, um, she could in then in theory constantly get all those crit, uh, crit stuff constantly again because Jack, um, Jack would have the access to two extra uh, quick cards and her quick NP and her quick uh, Noble Phantasm, so she would be able to just use that for three turns straight, and then after that, like it'd be gone, but. For that one brief moment where you're just constantly dealing constant damage. Like sometimes there are specific scenarios with a unit and a card where they just deal so much damage. But you only get it for one turn. Um, with this, you just get it for three turns as long as you can keep BB alive. Which is pretty easy thanks to her second skill here. So not only can she actually, you know, deal AoE damage. A very respectable amount, I would say. Um, she does get the ability to give grant herself evasion in case she needs it for one turn. And, I don't know. Summer BB is hard to, I guess, accurately depict how crazy good Summer BB is until you actually have used Summer BB at her full potential. Not only is she good, she's fun. Like, this ability, I do, I'm, I'm, the only thing I'm mentioning is like, oh, you can do this super try-hard thing. If you want to just have dumb fun, then you can just have dumb fun. That's the great thing about this skill, is that she works on so many levels. And I've already spent eight minutes on BB, so let's move on to the other two units. Uh, but just know, 100% worth it if you're going for her, I would say. Obviously, spend moderately, because I don't want you guys hurt. The last thing I want, actually, is to see you guys hurt by any form of gotcha payment. It, by the way, that person who wanted to spend, who spent, I think, 2,000 uh, St. Quartz on Dantes, please tell me that you got him to at least MP3 or at least one. Please respond. You haven't responded to any other uh, video since then, and I've been constantly worried about you, so I hope everything went well. So let's move on to the other two units, who are uh, also good and also look good, but are also not Summer BB. So we got Mysterious Heroine XX. If you are interested in how she looks at her stage, right here, I have to be careful about what I show, otherwise I'm just going to get completely shut down. Um, her active skills are, there go my dogs, they love BB. They hate the drug dealers outside and they love BB. She got piloting EX, grants self invincibility for one turn, increase on attack for one turn, it's 30% at uh, level 1, and at level 10 it's 50%. Cooldown 7, 5 at level 10. Detective Instinct E, grain crit stars, reduces own crit absorption for one turn. 10 crit stars at level 1, 20 at level 10, 50% absorption at 1 minus 50% absorption, um, and 100% minus absorption at level 10. And the cooldown is 6 at the start and 4 at the end. And just as for the ends of the world, ignores invincibility for one turn, charges own NP gauge, increases own damage against threats to humanity enemies for one turn. 
um, NP 20% at skill 1 and threat to humanity damage 30% and then at the end it is 30% and 50% respectively and then a cooldown is 7 and 5. I should really remember to include 7 there at the end but it's fine. <laughs> um, Her Noble Phantasm is Arts. It is deals damage to one enemy and then deals 150% extra damage to Saber class servants. So her NP at level 1 is 900% uh, damage, and at the end it is 1,500. Her overcharge effect, which increases her own attack for one turn, is charge 100% 20%. If you somehow get the 500% charge, you get 60% more attack for that. Uh, and that's just, in general, for that one turn, you get that much attack extra. Um, and her hit count is 4 for her arts. Alright. Not bad. Um, so here's the one thing that I'm not 100% sure of. So her main thing that she wants to fight, because again, the foreigners, the thing that they uh, excel at fighting are sabers. And when you don't fight, uh, not sabers, foreigners are good against berserkers. Uh, that's what their main cleanup thing is. Uh, oops, I've been going so long, the song stopped. So let's fix that. The thing I want to check is who are threats to humanity who are also sabers. It is exactly one unit. <laughs> it is <laughs> Saber Hakuso coming next year. Um, so, not. I think that. Oh, there's plenty of other threats to humanity, obviously, but in terms of the one that can 100% go against everything she is, that doesn't really matter because at the end of the day, she still does a lot of pretty good damage and then she can also be used against sabers if you just want to uh, mess up a saber and not use an archer um similar to her assassin type uh perfectly solid for a four star uh foreigner i think i don't actually ask a lot about four star foreigners kind of a niche thing but also not niche enough that she can only really focus on that i think um basically if you want to use her like crazy there's really just go nuts with it that's kind of how i feel about her anyway i'm definitely want i definitely want her a whole bunch i'm gonna be going for her if i were to put it in my order it would be bb number one serious hero x2 then finally we have mave uh saber mave who is if i change into my swimsuit a plus and charges on np gauge for three for every turn for three turns and gains crit stars every turn for three turns the np is 10 percent and five uh crit stars at uh, level 1 and also 8 cooldown and by level 10 it is 20% star NP no it is 20% NP 10 star and then cooldown 6 uh, Oid de Toilette Wet Honey is 60% chance to charm all enemies for 1 turn reduce their arts resistance for 3 turns at level 1 is 10% and at level 10 it is 20% cooldown 9 and at the end is 7 you can kind of guess here I can cooldown is always, is always minus 2 so I'm just going to start saying that from now on. Um, Discipline of the Queen of the Ocean. Increases party attack for three turns. Increases party critical damage except for herself for three turns. Uh, at level 1 it is attack 10%. Crit damage 20%. And then at level 10 it is 20% and 30% respectively. And her cooldown is at 7 start and by the end it is 5. And then her noble phantasm is one shot my love my dear summer trist. Deals damage to one enemy. Uh, hits six times. NP level one is 900%. Level five is 1,500. Uh, her order, overcharge effect is chance to inflict nice shot for three turns on them. Max five times per NP. Nice shot reduces their defense by 10% per stack. Uh, and at 100% um, is 60% chance of getting a nice shot chance. And then by the end, you get all the five times, I assume, with 100% chance if you get it to 500%. Um, the stacking minus defense is also really nice. Uh, so yeah, obviously this is the unit I think almost everyone, I think my brother is maybe the one exception who wouldn't be, she's the least one they want. But I will say I think she's actually pretty solid. Her buster having multiple hits is very nice. The fact that she makes them lose defense for three turns. So if you were able to constantly just do it, um, use her Noble Phantasm over and over again, they would get a lot of defense down. Um, it's a little bit RNG focused, but it's fine. Uh, it's not 60% is still perfectly fine, especially if it's going to be, in theory, going to do. It. You'll at least get one, unless you're extremely unlucky, is what I'll say. Um, which hey, this is fate, so who knows? Uh, yeah, and that's Mave. 
I don't really have much to say. I will obviously be perfectly happy if I have her, um, mainly because I don't have a lot of... That's a lie, I have Nero, I have Bride Nero. So really she's the one I need least, but also I think she, at her stage two I think is really nice. It's a very nice uh, swimsuit. I like the hair thing though. I also like this. I mean, come on. It's very nice. <laughs> I think it's very nice. Um, so yeah, those are the units. As I said before, the unit that I want is obviously BB Summer, Mysterious Heroin XX, especially says someone who does not have a foreigner. By the way, there are no foreigners that are, let me see if that's true. I want to say there's only five star foreigners and one four star, and Mysterious Heroin XX is the one um, four star foreigner in the entire game. They never added another one. Usually when they use foreigner, they mean five star. Yep, and I was right, because they have Voyager, Yang, uh, Hakus Hakusai, and Abby. In general, I would like to have a foreigner just because I am tired of fighting berserkers, and there's plenty of berserkers, especially during your challenge quest, that will just deal a buttload of damage to you and kill you, so I'd like to have them. So yeah, that's my that was me looking at the part uh, three, technically, the next campaign. Um... Looking forward to it. Hopefully it sh we should get some info later today. By the time you're watching this, it should be the 8th, yeah. Um, assuming you don't watch this late, that is. So we should get some info at reset, if it's going to be happening at the 9th, but hey, just wait and see. Well, that's today's video, everyone. I hope you liked it. If you did, remember to leave a like, comment about who you're looking forward to, how's your summer going, how's your grinding going. I'm still trying to reach the end of the current... Um, ladder stuff. I'm almost there, I think. I think. Oh god, it's a long grind. Anyway, have a good day, everyone, and see you later. Have a nice weekend, too. It's the weekend! Yay!